we'll be doing set 3 of musculoskeletal system spotters today spotters will be displayed for 30 seconds answer will be discussed after each spotter we'll move on with the first spotter This was a case of simple bone cyst with a pathological fracture. Most common location is the proximal humerus as shown in the picture. Common and immature skeletal. There is narrow zone of transition for this lytic lesion. Here you can see the pathological fracture and pseudotuberculations can be seen. There will be no periosteal reaction. Case of rheumatoid arthritis, there is juxta articular osteoporosis and in carpal bones we can see loss of joint spaces with erosions and deformities have begun to occur since this is an early case. Case of sickle cell anemia where we can see end plate depression. This is happening due to micro infarctions and there is H shaped vertebra. This is a case of rickets. Here you can see fraying, that is brush like appearance, splaying, widening of metaphysis, cupping, and osteoporosis. of pycnodysostosis here we can see frontal bossing delayed closure of sutures calvarial thickening obtuse angle of mandible This is a case of osteosarcoma of inferior ramus of pubic bone. This cloud like matrix calcification seen.
case of osteopetrosis there is generalized increase in bone density and uh, there is sandwich vertebrae seen where there is diffuse end plate sclerosis This is a case of chondrosarcoma of rib where there is matrix calcification classically seen as the ring and arc type. There is destruction of the affected rib because of permeative pattern of growth. This anterolysthesis of L4 over L5 always the superior vertebral body is taken as lysthesis over the inferior. So we will see the grading. In grading the lower vertebral body that is here L5 is divided into 4 parts that is 25%, 25 to 50%, 50 to 75% and above 75%. So if upper vertebral body is displaced within the 25% then it is grade 1. 25 to 50% grade 2, here is grade 3 and grade 4 is above 75%. This is a case of bone infarct where that's nothing but osteonecrosis due to microvascular insults commonly happening in sickle cell anemia. Thank you for watching. Follow us on YouTube and Instagram.